Tonight, we welcome you back to Merle News 8 with a warm update of support for Tyler Holinsky and information on suicide prevention. This flu season forced some schools to shut their doors. We'll give you an update on how this year is different than in the past. And the Pullman Police Department urges young children and pets to stay inside after reports of large cat prowling in the streets of Pullman. Merle News 8 starts now. From Studio B on the campus of Washington State University, this is Pullman's only nightly newscast. This is Murrow News 8. Good evening. I'm Daryl Bivens. And I'm Dax McCoy. Welcome to Murrow News 8. WSU quarterback Luke Falk wore the number three during practices for the Senior Bowl in honor of his late teammate Tyler Holinsky. Falk chose not to participate in the Senior Bowl so he could attend Holinsky's funeral in Laverne, California. Holinsky died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to the Whitman County Coroner. Falk and one of his offensive linemen, Cole Madison, even handed out stickers of Holinsky's number three to fans during practice. Falk is projected to be a high round pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. Holinsky's sudden passing highlights WSU students' mental health. A survey found in the past year, 56% of students reported feeling overwhelming anxiety at some point. 35% felt so depressed they struggled to function. In response, Health and Wellness will offer free online mental health screenings. A screening will determine if a student needs to seek professional help. Another potential health issue in the Pacific Northwest this year is the flu. 46 people have died in Idaho from influenza outbreaks. Idaho public health officials say it's important to take precautions to avoid the flu, and if you haven't already, visit your health care provider to get vaccinated. Idaho has closed its school doors as well as a dozen other states, including Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas, and Virginia in response to the outbreaks. A victim in last month's Amtrak derailment, 16-year-old boy Timmy Brodigan moved to Denver, Colorado to continue his road to recovery. Brodigan spent several weeks in intensive care in Seattle Children's Hospital. He suffered a broken neck, fractured ribs, a collapsed lung, and other serious injuries in the train accident. He is expected to remain at the Colorado Hospital for several months. His parents, Mike and Robin Brodigan, can be supported through a GoFundMe page under Help Timmy After Train Crash. The page has raised about $70,000 so far. With a tumble crumbling underneath Veterans Way, WCU's officials are closing the road until construction workers can repair it this summer. During this time, pedestrians are still allowed to walk along Veterans Way until the road is repaired. Another portion of the same tunnel also needs to be repaired on College Avenue near the old steam plant. The Washington State Legislature passed a capital budget which approves millions of dollars for new construction, renovations, and equipment. Brooke Wolford is live at one of Pullman's new locations. Brooke? That's right, Dax. While the Veteran Memorial Bridge may be falling apart, the state legislature's new $114 million budget will fund the construction of two new STEM buildings here on campus. That's a lot of money, Brooke. Is there any chance the rest of the money will go towards repairs around campus? Unfortunately, no, Dax. Funding for operations and maintenance around campus is decided separately from construction and renovation. So it's going to be a while before we see those residence hall elevators getting repaired. From Murrow News 8, I'm Brooke Wolford. A fourth Cougar sighting in eight days has residents on Pullman's Military Hill on edge. A woman walking her dog early this morning reported seeing a cougar at the intersection of Greyhound Way and Arcadia Drive. Pullman police advise you, if you see a cougar, to call 911 and walk away from the animal. WSU President Kirk Schultz introduced a new athletic director for the Cougars Tuesday. Patrick Chung comes to Pullman after serving as AD at Florida Atlantic since 2012. He will take the reins of the position vacated by Bill Moose in October. Chung sees promise in the future of Cougar Athletics. I believe in Washington State University, the people, the leadership, and the mission. I had the opportunity to spend some time with our athletics folks yesterday and this morning, and the love and care they have for Washington State is simply infectious. Chung officially begins his work in Pullman February 6. When we come back, 
We'll tell you one way that WSU is leading U.S. public colleges in catering to Hispanic culture. And how your beer money could sponsor a WSU student. You got a key? Go fish! In your face, in your face. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It's take time to be a dad today. Don't worry, the 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. But you were starting it. All right. WC recently launched a new website that highlights their continuing efforts to support minority cultures. This time, they translate the entire student financial services website in Spanish. This makes WSU the first college in the United States to do so, with just over 14% of WSU students identifying as of Hispanic heritage. This website will make it easier for these students to succeed in college and feel a part of their local community. You know, you know, we're here, we totally understand that not everybody can speak English as their first language, and we understand that you know there's many more other languages out there, and we're excited to see where it goes from here. The website answers questions that are commonly asked and guides visitors through the financial aid process. Due to travel bans and increasing deportation rates, some people feel the U.S. is moving farther away from being an inclusive society. Charlie discovered that University of Idaho has found a way to celebrate cultural differences at the annual Cruise the World Festival. Dancing, singing, and sharing food are just a few ways students and members of the community are experiencing different cultures. Hosted by the International Programs Office, Cruise the World gives members of the community a chance to share what they love about their culture and heritage. Many students didn't realize how many cultures existed on their campus. No idea there was this big of an international community. Um, it's really cool to see all these people coming. About 30 countries are represented here today by mostly students and families. My parents are immigrants from Mexico, so I, w I wasn't born in Mexico, I was born here in Idaho, but I just volunteered to represent Mexico today, especially during these times. Um, yeah, it just is really important for everybody to be open-minded and know a little bit about the people that are living here in our communities. Trying the food and it is excellent. Compared to the live music, I can see why this event has been strong for 20 years. The International Programs Office hopes this event will make international students feel more included in society and at the University of Idaho. Charlie Nelson, Murrow News 8. The Old Schoolhouse Brewery based out of Winthrop will unveil its new microbrew, Scholar Pale Ale, on Valentine's Day. And to make it just a bit sweeter, College Hill Customs Threads will donate $100 for every keg purchased to a scholarship fund for a WSU student majoring in beverage management for fermentation science. To pre-order a Scholar Pale Ale keg, email sales at oldschoolhousebrewery.com. Today seemed fairly dry, but after the, the break, Doug Taylor joins us to share this week's forecast. And a Washington native has a chance to make his dreams come true. The great outside. My new mom and I have a lot in common. So shiny. We both love the outdoors. That's not a flower. And she knows a lot about wildlife. <gasps> a labradoodle. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't use this one. He helps me with my decision making. Never. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised.
practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. Already. The roads in Pullman today seemed pretty dry after those snow showers the past few days. Luckily, Doug Taylor is here to tell us if there's any chance we can hold off the snow for the next week. Seems like we're going to have a shot, gentlemen. Good Friday evening, or more uh, Monday evening to you, excuse me. Temperature right now outside about 48 degrees. High temperature today, 53 degrees. That's just one degree off of the record, all-time record. In 1967, it was 54 degrees, so very close uh, there in the city of Pullman. So we switch over here, coming into tomorrow's forecast. Wind's picking up a little bit. We're going to see wind kind of as a general theme throughout the next few days. Cloudy and gusty also in the afternoon and evening tomorrow as we find ourselves in the 40s and upper 30s. So it's going to be a little cooler tomorrow uh, than we experienced today. Let's go ahead and head to the state of Washington map here. Let's take a look at the west side of the mountains here. Looking at Seattle here at 52 degrees. They have now over eight inches of rain in the month of January. It was five and a half is about their average, so quite a bit there. As well, Olympia and Vancouver also quite a bit uh, warmer and wet and rainy and windy. So we're going to see that trend probably continue in the next few days. So head over to eastern Washington. See it a bit cooler, but again, similar trends. Wenatchee at 39 degrees. Yakima a bit warmer, 54. Spokane and Pullman as well in the 50s. So keeping things warm as we go along. To the five-day outlook now, as you see, keeping cool but a bit breezy in the low 40s as we go along. Then another warm-up as we get toward the weekend. Both the highs kind of in the upper 40s to low 50s. So gentlemen, it does look as though we're going to ward off the snow for just a little bit longer. Guys? When we come back, a Spokane local is playing in the biggest football game of the year. When you're out there, there's no telling what you'll find. I see it, I see it! Oh, look at you. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. <laughs> Find yours at discovertheforest.org. Ah, <sighs> the great outside. My new mom and I have a lot in common. So shiny. We both love the outdoors. That's not a flower. <gasps> and she knows a lot about wildlife. <gasps> a labradoodle. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. If you want to be a parent, it doesn't matter how you play. <laughs> or even what you wear. You just need to be there. Thousands of teens in foster care don't need perfection. They just need you. With the Seahawks sitting at home, if you can't decide who to root for in the Super Bowl, maybe this story will help. Shadle Park graduate Brian Brayman will take the field for the Philadelphia Eagles on Super Bowl Sunday. When the New Orleans Saints cut him, his NFL career appeared over. Just months later, he could return home a champion and live the moment millions of kids dream about. Thank you for watching. Join us every weeknight at 7 and 10 p.m. for Pullman's only nightly newscast. Have a great night, and don't forget to follow Murrow News 8 on Facebook and Twitter. Good night, Pullman. Dax, what do you plan on doing for the break? <laughs>